Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand next awk command. Here we are going to print columns from the CSV file. CSV file means comma separated file. So I'm just moving to my terminal. It's a Ubuntu terminal. And first of all, I'll show you my CSV file or I'll say the comma separated file. So I'm just clearing the screen. And here I have a file with the name file underscore and it's a comma.txt. So I'm just printing all the data from this file. So I have a file in which my all the columns are separated by comma. Here, if I want to print only column one, so I'm writing awk and here I'm writing print dollar one so for first column I'm just writing dollar one and the file name so file name was file underscore comma dot txt here you will notice it is printing all the columns even we write dollar one dollar one means I want only first column to be displayed but it is displaying all the columns because by default awk try to separate column by using tab we, here we don't have any tab so it is taking all the columns as column one because no separator is there no tab is there and by default awk try to separate the file by using tab here we have a different separator different separator means here my columns are separated by the comma so i want to use this comma as a separator so now I'll show you how we can separate the column by using a specific separator. Here we have a comma as a separator and then display the data. So I'm just writing AWK hyphen capital F. Capital F with the help of the capital F we can define the separator. So here I'm defining the separator is comma. And now I'm just writing in a single quote print dollar one i want to display only first column and the file name is file underscore comma dot txt so now you will notice it started to display only column one because we have defined this time we have a separator which is comma and to define the separator we are using hyphen f for it so by this way, if you want to display multiple columns, like I'm displaying $1, $3. So first and third column, and I want to display some space between these two columns in the output. So I just written double quotes space uh, in between these two columns. Now I'm running it and you will notice we are getting two columns, column one and column three. Here column one was ID and column 3 was celery so we are getting id and celery and between these two columns we are getting some space so here we are getting some space so if i try to explain this this command again awk is the command name hyphen f is used for define the separator so i'm defining separator is a comma one more thing that need to be noticed here this is a case sensitive means for separator we need to use capital F then it's same as we are doing in the previous commands we need to write print statement inside the single quote and the curly braces we are defining what all the columns that we want to display in result I want to display space between these two columns and at the end file name so we have seen first approach in which we are separating the data so we are separating data using hyphen f and then we are defining the separator that is the first approach i'll show you one more approach so i'm just clearing the screen and for understanding purpose i'm just displaying all the data from this file so that's my file i want to display any specific column and i want to define the separator so previously we have seen how to define the separator by using hyphen capital F this time I'm going to use another separator so I'm just going to use 
8wk and here I'm writing print dollar two. I'm just printing only one column and here at the end before writing the file name I'm just giving fs so fs is a specific variable which is available with the awk command and we can define the separator over here so I'm defining separator is comma and now the file name so that's my file name I'm just running it here again you see we are separating columns by using comma but this time we are defining the separator by using a specific variable which is fs and on the behalf of that we are going to get when we separate these columns we are going to get three columns id name and salary i want to display second column so here it shows name name column data so we have seen we can display the content of any file by defining the separator we can separate file by two, two approaches one approach by using hyphen f and using predefined variable with the name fs so with the fs we can define the separator over here so in our case separator was comma so here we have seen how we can display data from any csv file or we can say any file which is separated by comma underscore or maybe any other separator and to define the separator either we can use capital f and we can define the separator or we can use fs variable so that's the second approach which is showing over here that's all we have thanks for watching this video